Herkese merhabalar değerli izleyicilerimiz. Yepyeni bir programla sizlerle birlikteyiz ve Korendon Airlines'la birlikte Spor Talks diyeceğiz. Korendon Airlines bu zamana kadar yaptığı sponsorluklarla spora öyle güzel katma değerde bulundular ki onlara da buradan canı gönden teşekkür etmek istiyoruz. Futbol, basketbol, bir taraftan voleybol, bir diğer taraftan buz hokeyi ve bir diğer taraftan da yelken derken spor öyle ince güzel dokunuşlar yaptılar ki ve farklı takımlara verdikleri desteklerle birlikte de bu süreci devam ettiriyorlar. Ve artık bizler bir program serisi oluşturduk. Sponsor oldukları takımlarla alakalı hem burada sporcuları hem yöneticileri sporun içerisinden kimlikleri ağırlayacağız. Onların sadece sahadaki halleriyle değil aynı zamanda da hayata bakışlarını öğreneceğiz. Hayatlarında neler yaşıyor bunları öğreneceğiz. Hep birlikte irdelemek için de buradayız. Ben Başak Koç bu programda sizlerle birlikte olmak için de çok çok heyecanlıyım ve harika bir ekibimiz var. Hadi o zaman Korendon Airlines ile Sport Talks başlıyor. <gülüyor> in the mountain where there is no basketball and the first sport was skiing for me and uh, I was really in love with skiing and I was really successful. I would say that uh, some kind of destiny happened that I supposed to start in football and there was no clubs around my house and I had to start something doing it and I touched the basketball. My first coach told me you don't know nothing about basketball but you got a something that I didn't see so far. And I said, okay, let's let's try. And then that that sentence I remember for for entire my life. Ve bugün Korendon Airlines'da basketbol diyeceğiz. Kulüp olarak Anadolu Efes'e sporcu olarak da çok özel bir kimliğe değineceğiz. Anadolu Efes Spor Kulübü bu zamana kadar yarattığı spor algısıyla basketbolun büyük kitlelere ulaşmasında Türk sporuna çok çok büyük katkısı vardı. Hatırlarsınız bir Koraç Kupası, Euroleague'de kazanılan bir gümüş madalya, sayısız kez Türkiye şampiyonlukları, sayısız kupalar. Çok değerli kulübümüz onlara da basketbolu ve spora verdiği emekten dolayı çok çok teşekkür ediyoruz. Bugünkü konuğumuz da Anadolu Efes'in çok önemli basketbolcularından biri. Aynı zamanda da Sırbistan milli takımının da sporcusu aramızda. Onu tanımak için gerçekten çok büyük bir heyecan duyuyorum. Vasilye Mitsic bugün bizlerle birlikte. Very welcome. Hello. Can I say you Vasa or Vasa? Yeah. Vasa. Is it okay for yes, you? Yes. Okay. Then. Uh, first of all, I'm so happy, uh, and also you have time for us. I know that's so busy schedule for league, also Euro League. Uh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Right. How are you feeling? I feel great. Mm -hmm. uh, the the schedule this month was really tough mm -hmm. so far, and uh, with previous games. Uh, Definitely, we feel a little bit tiredness, but uh, that's part of our job. And uh, the most important that uh, last couple couple of games we won, and mentally we are increasing our moral and and and, and gives you positive energy. Yeah, that's so important having a positive energy in that tough yes, situations, yeah, yeah, right? Definitely. And we know you from there, just there. Yeah. Uh, today I just want to know much more about you, about your family, about the place that you grew up. And I want to start from the beginning. Uh, first of all, the place that you were born, your life, your family, which one you choose to start? Maybe from your family. Hmm? Yeah, uh, part of, of the story of my family, it's uh, a little bit, uh, let's say, emotional for me because last uh, two years ago I lost my mother, and that's mm -hmm. that's was big loss for me. But uh, that's that's a part of the life, yeah. and uh, she was so a sorry. yeah she was very very big import uh, big person in my life. But in general, if I talk about my family, I always like to talk about uh, my sister first of all. She was she was my she is still my biggest support. Uh, she was also uh, a very, very successful uh, professional athlete, mm -hmm. uh, individual sport, but still we, we, we were always biggest support to each other. Uh, she's older, sister called, she, her name is Nina. Nina yeah. uh, I always like to talk about my family uh, towards the direction that uh, we never change our relationship 
mm-hmm. uh, no matter what what kind of circumstances we have inside of business or uh, private life we always stick together and that was always our base for everything what what was coming after that mm-hmm. uh, my father he he also uh, has a big big impact in my life because he he's professor of sport and he was the one who put the basic things inside of me with the sports uh, we grew up in mountain where where I was where I started my first sport and uh, all other stuff uh, going to his his bill uh, about mother now it's even uh, easier to give compliment about her because uh, uh, when when you have someone next to her to you sometimes you forget to give to give uh, compliments and you you just feel that it's normal stuff uh, that you have from them now I can say that she was really always there positive she was unbelievable positive her name is Vesela which means happiness yeah yeah so that that's that's exactly describing her her person uh, personality and that's more or less uh, everything I have yeah I can feel that the family is the most important thing in your life so I lost my father also so I can understand you deeply I share your pain also and I'm so sorry about your loss you grew up in the nature you are yes. all surrounded with the mountains. Maybe you can tell a little bit about there, the names of the mountain, the place that that you grew up. Yeah, it was uh, interesting because uh, my father has a job uh, in that mountain, and that mountain is a very famous place, the most mm-hmm. famous mountain in Serbia. Uh, name of that mountain is Koponik. Uh, very famous touristic place, but uh, for 10, 15 days. But actually, I lived there for 12 months. Yeah. And for me, it was the best childhood I could ever imagine. The freedom that we had over there was yeah. priceless. Uh, the opportunity to, to be able to ski for six months and mm-hmm. then after that to have all kind of different camps for sport uh, during the summer was, was really useful for me and my sister. And uh, yeah, that's, that's something that really uh, helped me to 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 never forget what's the best part of the life, to be in the nature, to, to, to feel that energy from nature, whatever people want yeah. to say, however. And uh, I'm really, really happy that I had that, those nine years in my life over there. And then after that, we had to move to Belgrade mm-hmm. because of school. We, we have to uh, continue our education in the mm-hmm. better schools because Nina is older and uh, we had to move because of her and then after for me and that's how I started. Before this interview, when we talk with you, you said I'm the only one in the school, right? Can, can, you, can you yeah. tell us? That was <laughs> Your primary school, I think. Yeah. <laughs> uh, while I was young, they opened elementary school in yeah. that place and uh, as I said, people who were working there, they spent a season job mm-hmm. uh, over there for two, five, six months. But we lived there for one year and uh, we had to have teacher, you know, you had to yeah. bring teacher right. <laughs> over there to, to educate us. And me and my sister, we were only one in class for, for the beginning. After that, some of other kids joined us and, mm-hmm. and uh, we had max, my, my class was like 10. Mm-hmm. At the end of the year, Nina was only two with, with one more friend. What kind of student are you? You, was, you were hardworking? No, I was always the best in my class, oh, in elementary, then. in high school, <laughs> uh, because my, my uh, how can I say, uh, motivation was system. Mm-hmm. She was even better than me, and she always was able to combine sports with school. Yeah. And for us, that was really normal inside of our family to mm-hmm. be the best in, let's say, everything what you try to do. And, uh, I cannot say that there was something special, but uh-huh. yeah, from this point of view, it's it was because I, since I was eight, I practiced skiing and then after basketball two times per day. Yeah. It wasn't easy to handle, but for me, it was it was. I will ask about those days, but which lessons do you like most? Everything or math or? No, I was always good in math. Yeah, yes, math. Yes, yes. Oh. I was really always oriented to that part of of science uh, and yeah. And also, uh, do you have a spe- special memory on those days, about the school days? Any special memories that you remember, maybe? 
maybe one of them you the can share? Feeling. The best feeling was that freedom. You know, we, yeah. we could, I really didn't know until nine years old what was traffic lights, what was, we even, we even didn't have a regular roads. We just had like, a, how yeah. can I say, like uh, the wild roads. Uh, and that's something that gives gave us freedom to, to play wherever we want. We always had places to, 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 to run, to mm -hmm. play some other sports. Uh, yeah, and that freedom was something special, but uh, uh, there are many stories. I was really crazy kid, uh, especially uh, ski-wise. Mm -hmm. I was, in, from this point of view, I'm, I don't believe that I would repeat so many stuff. <laughs> I was so fast, I was crazy, making people scared. Uh, yeah, some, some story was interesting. Uh, when I was a kid, there was a... Uh, uh, at the end of the year, they have a, uh, like, a, it's not casting, but it's like a, trying to get the ski, ski teacher license. Mm. Yeah. And uh, they were going, these, these guys are scared, you know, they are afraid of whether yeah. they're going to pass test or, or not. And, uh, of course, I was all, all along there. And they were going the one line, trying to, to repeat technique and everything. They were looking in their in, at their teacher. And I went so fast because there was a guy who made a film of that. Yeah. <laughs> and I made like, cr I crossed their line and all of them, like 20 of them fell down. <laughs> so they were finding me and <laughs> tell my father and I got beat up a bit. <laughs> so nice. Ve şimdi de Corendon Airlines'la ilkler diyeceğiz. 2005 yılında onlar da Eindhoven'dan Sabiha Gökçen'e ilk uçuşu gerçekleştirmişlerdi. Ve bu meydana yolcu indiren de ilk havayolu firması olarak da onlar da yer almışlardı ve biz de şimdi konuğumuzla birlikte ilkler diyeceğiz. I just want to start about your career because when you're junior you started in Serbia in your country and then in your professional career also you made a really a great job in the Adriatic League and then go to the Bayern Munich you have the Germany experience also and come to Turkey and in Bursa Tofaş and then Zagiris Kaunas you have a Lithuanian uh, club experience and then Anadolu Efes this is a really a tough and important experience how you uh, feel that you can play basketball at that time I was still professional skier I was really successful in that and uh, yeah, we, I started in my school with basketball and I really didn't know nothing much with the ball. But mm. my movements, my coordination was way, way uh, ahead of my generation. And coach said, OK, you can stay because I started with three years older guys. Mm. In those years, it's big difference. And uh, so big difference, yes. right? Three years old. And time to time, I had to a little bit choose because in the same moment, my sister was uh, extremely successful in snowboard. Yeah. So we do. And, and I think Mitsit, she is also the first Serbian uh, snowboarder, Olympic, Olympic yes, athlete, yes, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, nice. so it was really it's expensive sport, and my father was a supporter, uh -huh. and we kind of had to choose yeah. which one he can keep supporting. And uh, in that moment, also I felt confident to basketball, yeah. and that's how it started. And uh, very very early age, I started with. Red Star, my first year with mm -hmm. Red Star was so and so, and then let's say first biggest, bigger improvement I felt FMP. Yeah. FMP is a, a very famous basketball academy mm -hmm. in Serbia, working with young kids, and uh, now they, they work cooperation with Red Star, mm -hmm. uh, and that's how I actually started to, to build my basketball mm -hmm. career. Mm -hmm. And also Mega Vizura, right? Yeah, that's actually something that really became a professional. Mm -hmm. I'm 27 years old from yesterday, yeah. two days ago, but yeah. I'm already 11 years professional, <laughs> which right. is very, very long time. And happy birthday to you Thanks. also. <laughs> uh, thank you. So when I came to Mega, I was 16 years old, which is regularly junior or cadet. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, not sure how they call it. Mm -hmm. I already entered to the first team. Yeah. And since those days, uh, I became professional. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had also one very tough situation when I was 17. I had the injury, so after that, I went to 
to Bayern. Mm -hmm. And Bayern was extremely important for experience for me because uh, I entered there in the very big wide picture as a huge yeah. talent and then suddenly I had unlucky situations which forced me to, to grow up faster, yeah. to mature faster because from one point of pushing me in the stars that to the point that nobody actually wanted me. Mm -hmm. And then the biggest the biggest step in my career was going to Bursa. Yeah. Uh, one of the best experience uh, basketball-wise, life-wise for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I built a, a great, great relationship with the coach Ors mm -hmm. who was my coach there. He, he is one, one of my close friends since that time and he helped me, he gave me freedom, he mm -hmm. gave me confidence that he believed in me and uh, that, that year actually gave me back my, my routine to, to believe in myself again. Mm -hmm. And since that moment I started to like Turkey honestly, I like yeah. Turkey, I like uh, mentality of people here and uh, one day I would really wish that I would be able to play for, yeah. for Istanbul teams uh, and, and it, it, it came, became uh, uh, true. Reality, yeah. Yes, reality. <laughs> and then after that, uh, I can always say that my my move to go to Zagiris mm -hmm. was crucial for me to to make huge step forward in my career. Yeah. On the position that I'm playing as a point guard, mm -hmm. I had amazing experience with uh, Coach Eskivicius. Mm -hmm. Many time I mentioned it because I was 24, 23 to 24 years. Uh, which is very very young age for point guards, mm -hmm. but that experience really helped me to 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 understand basketball like I played ten years on yeah. this level, because he's a clever guy. He 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 understand basketball really. Uh, and also as a player, he was amazing. So he really really helped me, and then after that I made decision to to come here. Uh, everything else, it's 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 something that it's like a history, because yeah. I came here as a let's say backup option for the chain for uh, Bobois but I, I get my chance and I think I use it the right way and after that I really like here mm -hmm. that's the reason why I extend contract and I really enjoy here mm -hmm. how do you feel exactly with Anadolu FS to be honest uh, when I played for Bayern my teammate was uh, Dusko Savanovic mm -hmm. he was a member of FS for three years he told me that he believes that FS is Best, one of the best organizations and I remember these words uh, but uh, in the moment when I moved from Jalgiris to FS it was not so good situation because mm. with Jalgiris we finished uh, I remember third that year in mm. Euroleague and that year FS was last in, in the regular season yeah. so it wasn't so a uh, logical move for mm. me in my career but uh, when I get that offer uh, I felt that uh, there is something that I would like to do on my own uh, with experience that I learned and have from, from that year in Algiris. And uh, that year was the year that FS made the rebuilding. Yeah. They brought so many foreigners, they, they clean team from the previous year. And uh, in some kind of idea that I should, uh, when I signed here, it was that I would stay here for one year and maybe, but actually after that first year experience, I felt like at home here. And uh, even we didn't succeed so well with, uh, let's say, uh, second place in Euroleague yeah, and Euro title, mm -hmm. I felt great. And that was important for me because I changed so many teams before that and I wanted to settle down a little bit to, yeah. to enjoy. And of course, Istanbul is my favorite city. <laughs> I, I cannot complain about that. What do you like most in, about Istanbul? Everything. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> It's so, so good city. I like so much mm -hmm. uh, all kind of places I visited, mm -hmm. uh, historical or regular place, places, restaurants. Mm -hmm. It's really unbelievable. And that's, that's how I feel here. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we will continue with the firsts in your life. Uh, maybe I can ask you, first money you earn, do you remember? Yes, I was 16 years old. Uh, I signed uh, we call that like a stipendi, I don't know how you call it, but like a small contract that you sign before you're mm -hmm. 18 years. And uh, yeah, I gave all my money to mother. <laughs> <That's all. laughs> okay, then we can talk about the first day with your national team. Eh? Yes. It's special also. Yes, that was special. Uh, I'm still uh, officially the youngest guy who ever entered 
mm-hmm. Serbian national team since we call Serbia. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was a huge privilege for me. 2013 in uh, Slovenia, we had a European Championship yeah. and uh, uh, experience that I felt that moment was uh, different. You know, we always like to play mm-hmm. for our national team with the passion, with the love, mm-hmm. no matter. Uh, how can I say what's what's inside of the federation or whether we have or no money? Uh-huh. That's our culture about basketball, and that was special moment for me because I felt proud. I felt proud that I can represent my country. We didn't have a huge success, but it wasn't so bad. We missed so many players those years that, that year, but yeah, very very important experience for me, and still I feel the same whenever I play for national. Team. For 2019, I think a Basketball World Cup, when you win over United States or uh, with the Czech Republic, I think, but you lost in the uh, quarter final yeah, to Argentina. Final Argentina. Yes. Uh, it's really upset situation, right? Huh? Uh, before how, that, how can you describe no, before it? The, it uh, before that game uh, actually happened, this situation with mother. I, yeah. game before, a day before the game, I lost my mother. and. Yeah. I, I didn't feel pain when we lost because I had enough pain before that. Yeah, right. In those moments, you think that show must go on? Yes, that mm. that was a simple decision for me. I didn't mm. make from that some show. So I like I, I was looking for some extra understanding from my coach or something like that. I mm-hmm. just told them I would like to stay because also that was her desi- that was her wish. In any case, yeah. And yeah, I said that separate story from each other. Yeah. Also, when I came back from national team here in FS, we already had uh, directly we go, we went for a president cup mm-hmm. and also club asked me that moment, like, would I, would I play that or they would understand me. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to play and that's how I look at this stuff. Yeah, I chose that way also. Yeah. yeah. And uh, your first trip, do you remember? My first trip was uh, in uh, Madonna di Campiglio. This yeah. is a ski resort in Italy. <laughs> I went to support my sister. And yeah, it was a great, uh, great experience. From that moment, I prefer always more snow than, yeah. than seasides. And uh, after I finish career, definitely I go two years. But that, that trip was really remarkable for me yeah. from that moment. Uh, which way you choose, bus or flight? Flight, always. <laughs> I hate to go by bus. Uh, Corendon Airlines is really important for all the uh, many of the sport teams, uh, especially with the collaboration with Anadolu FS. And so we are really thankful for them uh, because the supporting brands is really important to make the sports much more uh, up the level. So it's really important. Yeah, my experience in Jalgiris was about that. We that year was the first year that Jalgiris also had a charter, mm-hmm. and uh, really, especially Kaunas is far from all of these European cities. And uh, that was the year when I realized how important this charter. But uh, I grew up in Serbia, which means for me this is just extra luxury. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just to have exit seats, it's, uh, it's amazing stuff, not only having a private jet. Mm-hmm. So when they, when they said that we will have charter this year, it's really unbelievable thing. I wish that all teams have it, especially with this tough schedule, because it helps you to to, to manage time easier, to manage uh, recovery, which yeah. is very important for mm-hmm. us, more important than practice. And with this help, we really we really can do it. And uh, unbelievable thing for us. Really. Yeah, right. Uh, your first gift you gave or you, you took also? You remember? I like gifts, but I don't get them often. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly I give <laughs> gifts. Uh, I remember when I get a new ski. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I got that from my father. It was a special, unique ski for me, a race ski. Uh, it was unusual for that time that some kid can have it, because uh, we had regular skis as every kid. But uh-huh. it's a part of my father's job, and he went for for that gift to buy in uh, Slovenia. Uh-huh. Uh, and I remember I was really happy about that. Yeah, and first kiss. 
Those kids, I was really young. <laughs> <laughs> how old were you? <laughs> Ele Eleven. Eleven? Yeah, I don't know how it happened. But... <laughs> okay then. Thank you so much about our first Your Life's part. Uh, thank you so much Vasa. Korendon Airlines'da Spor Talks devam ediyor ve şimdi Vasa ile birlikte de fark yarat diyeceğiz. Korendon Airlines bu zamana kadar yaptıklarıyla fark yaratırken biz de konuğumuz sporcumuza soracağız. Bakalım onun hayatında neler farklı olmuş, kendini fark yarattığı düşündüğü şeyler ne biz de çok merak ediyoruz. <gülüyor> And Wasa, now I just want to ask you, uh, what are the things or the ones that uh, you think made a difference in your life? What can you say about it? The things that make a difference in my life is uh, uh, I try really to be honest to myself mm -hmm. uh, in everything I do. Uh, basketball ways or life ways, uh, consistency is something that gives mm -hmm. me always confidence because mm -hmm. many times I don't see results so fast, but I don't give up on the things that I start to do. And uh, if I look back uh, behind my back uh, and see what passed in my life, that's something that really always gave me confidence in th difficult situations. Like uh, yeah. I always believe that work pay, uh, pays off. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I believe that. Uh, Like the, the life has some, some kind of line that is not straight, you have to have ups and downs. But mm -hmm. as I said, consistency is something that gives you confidence that you can go through faster mm -hmm. difficult situation because you repeat stuff that at the end of the day will give you, give you success. And that's something that really helped me a lot in all circumstances in life. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you find those things uh, just by yourself or you just explore while during this career steps? I listen, steps. I mm -hmm. listen oh. myself. What Do you have idols? Like, uh, more or less, I like, I like uh, to say I don't have idol because uh, I just don't feel that there is, that, that I need to have idol to, to, force, to make me mm -hmm. do something. But I like uh, the way of some players behave, the way of some players make their career. One of them is Djokovic mm -hmm. as an athlete. Another one is Diamantidis from yeah. Panathinaikos. There's just people that I like to see as a wide picture, mm -hmm. how they behave on the court, how they behave off the court. Mm -hmm. uh, their achievements for me are not something which make this, this decisive uh, difference between players. I just like to see more their characteristic. But for me, it's, as I said, like when you feel when you feel energy from someone, it's something that makes difference for me. Like uh, when I when I because I know person in yeah. the per, per, person, I know uh, Djokovic, that guy is different just because he's a random as a random guy yeah. as any other people. He don't feel different. He don't behave different. Even he has the rights to do that because of success, but I yeah. don't believe in that. So he is, for me, because of that, he is. And also he is so many years on the highest level of sport, which is very, very difficult. Mm -hmm. I know from my experience how difficult it is to be, as I said, consistent in one, in one uh, uh, job and especially on the highest level. Because yeah. when you reach that level, everybody wants to move you, shake you, especially as, you, as individual athlete as he is. It's really not easy, and yeah, he is for me definitely one that I, I like to look. Yeah, he's also your friend, right? Yeah, we are family friends. We grew Perfect. up in exactly same place, mm -hmm. Koponik. They, that's how also he started. Uh -huh. There was a tennis camp and he started there, and everything else is history. And uh, I just want to ask you: your hair was longer before, and uh, beginning of the season, and there was those who wonder why you cut it. <laughs> Any special? There was many of them who think that I play better without <laughs> long hair. Some uh, not so smart sentence that they would say. They were saying, "I just like uh, I like more with long hair because I like curlies." And uh, yeah. me and my sister, we have that kind of hair. She doesn't like that. I don't know why, but I like it. And uh, uh, definitely after fi it's so hard to handle when you play. Yeah. You have to manage before the game. You have to. 
pay attention about that 30 40 minutes just to make the hair correctly i don't i don't have this yeah. time to waste and i cut it yeah i can understand any special uh, music that you like to listen my biggest surprise uh, and biggest um, uh, how can i say uh, okay was surprise and 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 I was shocked how mm -hmm. good singer is Bocelli. I had the pleasure to listen to him in Kaunas in oh, a concert. Oh, Bocelli. Yes, this is something really different. I visited some concerts before that. Also, I watched Queen with the new singer. Mm. I listened uh, also uh, Sting. I listened Sting. Sting. But Bocelli is different. Yeah. Any Turkish singer or? I listen sometimes with Turkish players, Turkish music. I like it. similar uh, yeah. style of like a Serbian yeah. music. I like that music in Serbian. Uh, I know Tarkan. I know some songs. I listen always when I have therapy, my physio always plays some Turkish songs. Yeah. Be before the games? When I have massage, he yeah. always plays some Turkish and we enjoy. And your jersey number, 22. Is 22, it special for you? My favorite number is 13 actually, also hmm. because uh, of uh, Diamantidis because of Jaskiewicz, my yeah. ex-coach. But I didn't want to wear anymore because of some maybe stupid reason. <laughs> and then when I came to, also when I came to Tofash, that was already busy jersey. Yeah. And the other number is nine. And then I make combine 13 and nine and I said 22. <laughs> now I like it. I like yeah, it so a lot. special. Then. <laughs> I like it. Okay, then perfect. Korendon Airlines'la birlikte havaları uçuyoruz ve şimdi de Vasa'ya soracağız. Bakalım hayatında önem ifade eden en havalı sözü hangisiymiş? Any kind of quote maybe you like to see while you are reading or you are always thinking about that word, that sentences. Any sentences like this? The coolest word. The flyest also. <laughs> I like to be always the same person in every situation. Mm. Like uh, for me to stay on the ground, it's uh, not easy, uh, especially when I saw a lot of examples while I was young, how easy people change themselves mm. uh, according to success or not success, not only positively or let's say because of success, many people lost their, their profile after some fail. Mm -hmm. And that's something that I always try to, to, to keep inside of me, no matter who is around me, like uh, no matter of what coach speak about me, no matter what friends think about me, I just believe in me and I believe that uh, I, I do things correctly with mistakes. And this, this is something that I believe also my teammates feel the most from me. They can always count on me, mm -hmm. the way I approach the game, the way I uh, give myself on the court. Of course, I can have bad days, but this is something that nobody can take away from me yeah. to have my own my own uh, style of life and that's really kind of freedom that we have to always keep for ourselves. How can we write those the things in one sentences? Uh, <laughs> be yourself, yeah, be yourself. Yeah, yeah be, yourself. be yourself, Yes. yeah, perfect then. And I have some cards for you, but the cards are written in Turkish. Okay. And I know that you know some Turkish, right? Yes, surely, well. Yeah, okay then. We, we can try if you wish. Okay. And those are the questions that I want you to answer. And I will give you... Let's start. Sorry if I, if I don't no, read it correctly. <laughs> Let, let's start. En sevdiğin çizgi film karakteri hangisi? Yeah, you understood or you want me to tell in English also? Any idea about this question? Correct. Some characteristic about movie actor, probably. Yeah, about cartoons. Cartoons, uh, yeah. <laughs> Your favorite cartoon character? My favorite is uh, Tom and Jerry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> also, when I was a kid, I didn't watch so much <laughs> cartoon. I don't remember. <laughs> I play with kids outside. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but Tom and Jerry is my favorite, definitely. I yeah. like that kind of competition between them. Yeah. But you're reading really well, right? Thank you, thank you. That's yeah, cool. and our second question. Geç mistake ki hangi spor Musa Bakasin 
Čanli, Olarak, Izlemek, Isterdin. Bravo, bravo. But I don't understand. <laughs> Which sport event uh, would you like to watch live? I have one agreement with my friend, best friend. He is a soccer. He was soccer player, and uh, I'm not so big fan of football. Mm -hmm. But I would like to go to watch Liverpool Chelsea. Ah, yes, live Premier League. Yes, yeah. for me, I think this is special to feel that energy. Yeah, it will be perfect. Yes, and let's see the other one. Senin için ideal tatil nasıl olmalıdır? Yeah, good. How can you describe your um, ideal holiday, vacation? Which way you choose? Uh, I like for vacation, as I said, I would like to visit so many ski places because uh -huh. it's the combine of skiing and, and this environment for me, it's amazing, nature and everything. But yeah. I didn't have uh, opportunity to visit many places because of obligation. Every summer it's national team, yeah. so there is no time to travel mm -hmm. even, let's say we earn solid money for life that we can uh, uh, afford that to us, but we don't have time. Uh -huh. I would like to visit, let's say, Maldives. It's something that it's one of the priority places mm. that I would like to see. Yeah, perfect then. Okay, second. And last two questions. Su an kaç yaşında olcugun bir meseydin kendini kaç yaşında gibi Hiserdin. <laughs> Little bit a long question, right? <laughs> it seems like Any idea about this question? No idea. <laughs> how uh, would you feel if you don't know how old are you? How old, old you are? I feel currently like 40 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Plus 30, right? Even more. Why? Why that old? No, no. My enthusiasm is always uh, great for life, but physically I feel now like that and it affects my mood a little bit. But in general, it's independent from that. I don't, I don't let myself feel old. Um, Vasa, thank you for accepting our request. And I know that you have a busy schedule. And so uh, I also wish you luck during the Turkish League and the Euro League and also your life in general. And also we will have a special gift. And you will have now, with your name, 50 trees. Thank you so much. I want to give this to you. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. This is a big, big privilege for us to have uh, Quarendon as a, as a sponsor. It's uh, extremely important for us, uh, and I'm very, very thankful. I believe in front of all my teammates, uh, I can say big, big thank you to Quarendon, and, and uh, I believe this cooperation will continue even after this year, because mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, it's, it's even difficult to explain how this is useful for us. Yeah, thank, thank you so much. And we have our motto, and maybe we can say it together. Yes. Birlikte havalara uçuyoruz. Birlikte havalara uçuyoruz. Okay, then. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Know. you.